what's up aqua gang what it do what it do fool y'all already know what time it is it's your girl life of pinky period and i am back again with another reading for the aqua gang my aqua family my aqua collectives honey all my aquarius y'all know it's pisces season but y'all know honey we don't care let me go on and five sets i'm on five <laughs> Y'all know we don't care. We don't care, baby. We don't care if it's Pisces, Cancer, Gemini. We don't care. Taurus, Scorpio, Season, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Libra. We don't care. Capricorn. We don't care. It's Aquarius season. Period. Happy birthday to all my Pisces, though. If you're a Pisces cross watcher, happy birthday, honey. Y'all know. You Pisces, Aquarius, Cuspers, y'all popped it off yesterday. But, yeah. Anyway, we're going to jump on into it. Y'all see, it's like 6.30 on um, February 22nd, 2022. We in room 222, period. Rick Ross energy, big Ross energy, big money, big bags. Anyway, Aquarius, honey, I'm going to get on into it. I got these new cards that I cannot wait to use y'all this is the african goddess rising oracle deck and y'all gotta bear with me baby because i cannot pronounce some of these goddesses names <laughs> but i got the guide book right here we're gonna we're gonna pop it off with an african goddess we're gonna put a little bit of tarot down and then we're going to get some, I guess, some oracle messages from somewhere else. We might put a little kipper down. You can know how much time we got. Let's see. It is 6.33. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquarius Collectives? What African goddess is coming through Aquarius? What African goddess is coming through for the Aquarius? Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquarius Collectives? African Goddess is coming through to the Aquarius Collectives today, February 22nd, 2022. Y'all, yeah, so when I was premeditating, right? Exactly. <laughs> it says rage on this card. Medusa. Rage. And I was just going to say, when I was meditating, I was getting a lot of like anger or angry energy. A lot of like mad her energy but i like pissed off on the inside you look at me i'm gonna turn your ass into stone period that's what medusa did <coughs> you look at me wrong i'm gonna turn your ass into stone at the bottom of the deck we have irzuli dentor etheric chords so let's read those we got number 23 from Medusa. That is the overall energy of today. Shadow of Rage. I think that's Libya or Libya. Temple is shadows. Element is fire. Medusa is feared as an ugly, vicious monster. Bitch. The truth. This Libyan Berber dark goddess is goddess of wisdom's rage is sacred epic and fully justified medusa's shadow guidance you are pissed off and petrified angry and shaking but underneath that you are hurt and heartbroken feeling undervalued is overwhelming you can't stay silent anymore let your joys hopes and beauty rage on <coughs> y'all it's the throat chakra for me. Embodiment. Take a breath. Period. Close your eyes and put both of your hands over your lower abdomen. Tune into the part of you that feels out of control. Flooded with loving energy. Loving, healing, golden light. Now put both your hands over your heart and do the same. You have a right to... You have a right to your full range of emotions, including anger. Sacred rage inspires us to run for office lead protests and shift policies but unhealthy rage can devour your very soul get clear on what is really happening allow yourself to feel your feelings and see the truth just because you feel threatened doesn't mean you are being threatened threatened 
goddess declaration i have a right to feel my feelings period and at the bottom of the deck we got etheric cores there's zuli dentor goddess of ethereal etheric cores haiti temple lovers element fire or Urzuli Dantor fought elbow to elbow with her people during the Haitian Revolution to protect mothers and children. She represents the healing of the Dark Mother. Urzuli Dantor's guidance. If it isn't wholehearted, love, release it. Remember your worth. The energy cords binding you to someone, binding you and someone you no longer wish to be attached with or attached to are strong. You must be willing to let go. Close your eyes. See divine swords of God, goddesses, loving light, separating you and dissolving the cords between you. You are both whole and healed. Just as you shower to cleanse physical grime, there is also grime in the form of energy cords, also called karmic ribbons, emotional cords or etheric cords. Spiritual maintenance is required. Declaration. I am worthy, compassionate and whole. Period. Y'all need to go check that out. I got it off of Amazon. It was on sale for like $15. So, yeah, honey. Let's get two more. One more spirit. Yamaya. Awakening. Yes. Some of you are awakening to your inner selves. You're awakening to your higher selves. Your spirit guides are waking you up. This is a lot. I just saw Queen Sheba. Number 40s. Yeah, let's get one more for the Aquarius. One more goddess for the Aquarius. What are the goddesses are wanting to speak to the Aquarius this morning? She's pregnant in this card, so some of y'all could be pregnant. I keep getting a lot of pregnancies or pregnant energy or just nurturing, creating something, a lot of creation, creation of life, creation of, you know. A new life. This could be a new life for yourself. You're being reborn or born again. Spirit, one more card for the Aquarius. Show me one more. <coughs> Nana Buluku. Seasons. Number one. Period. You the one. Not the two Aquarius. That's a fact. At the bottom of the deck, we got... Yasigi, live out loud, Aquarius. And that's on who? Period. It's 640. So we got Yamaya Awakening. This card, these cards, it ain't even just this card. These cards are fucking beautiful. Nana Buluku Seasons. And at the bottom of the deck, live out loud. We got Harvest. We got Wounded Healer. Period. Y'all are wounded healers, Aquarius. You ain't even all the way healed and you out here healing everybody else. Check you out. Y'all know y'all. Y'all take on everybody pain, everybody energy, everybody emotions. Y'all don't even feel y'all own. Why? I do know. I do know. Why? I know that because I do the same thing. Yamaya, awakening. Goddess of awakening. Yoruba or Nigeria. Temple, high priestess. Element, water. Goddess Yamaya controls the ocean. The amniotic fluid that nurtures us before we know ourselves. The healing, loving energy of this Yoruba mother Orisha or deity. Deity. Y'all know I, baby. Never leaves you. Yamaya's guidance. Wake up. Awaken now to your true self. Are those tears of joy or sorrow? Let them out. Yamaya swallows your tears. Embodiment. You are vibrating at a higher frequency, so you see everything differently. This is Goddess Rising. You are waking up, and once you have experienced awakening, you can never go back not back to not knowing. The path of awakening is not straight, comfortable, or easy. You have chosen to lift the veil and have a, re a real relationship with the divine. You didn't come to transcend to this world while you're living in it. You came here to dig into the soil, plant yourself, and grow. This ascension is your divine purpose. Declaration, I am receiving and radiating love. 
Nana Buluku, Goddess of Seasons, Spinning, Temple, Threshold, Guardians, Element, Air, period. Number one, Aquarius, like I said. Nana Buluku is the most high supreme being, primordial mother, grandmother of all the Orishas, the deities, and Omi's wise woman, herbalist, and healer. Guidance. You have entered a new cycle that is very old. Allow yourself to become present. Trust in divine timing. Don't be in such a hurry. There are no shortcuts here. Embodiment. Are you ready for a new beginning? You are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time for a time of major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are ripe for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. Declaration. I am limitless. Period, Aquarius. And the last one before we put some tarot down is Yashigi. Live out loud. Goddess of living out loud. Dogon and Mali. Temple. Griots. Element. Water. Yashigi is... Yashigi has the reputation of being a free-spirited party goddess. Okay, Aquarius, period. Live out loud, honey. Live out loud. Live in full color. In living color, period. For the Dogon people of Mali, she was the very first Yashi Yash Yashigni. The Yashignis are women empowered to participate in the max masked dances. <coughs> Y'all, when I just said that, that just made me think about y'all being in the club with y'all mask on. Y'all being out at a party with y'all mask on. Like, we are in the age of where masks are being given as gifts. COVID tests are being given as, as gifts. Like, so yeah, I, I definitely am feeling that. Somebody finna go out and have fun. Express yourself. You have something to say. Share your voice and magic. Express your you miss okay Aquarius embodiment the way you express yourself won't make everyone happy that's okay you are not meant to living out loud and self-expression look differently for everyone for outgoing extroverts self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your points of views introverts may speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personalities for loved ones goddess declaration I am free to express myself fully period Aquarius I don't know who told the aquas that they had to be quiet. Spirit, tell me more about Medusa. Why is Medusa here? Tell me more about this rage. Two of Cups. So it's it's something to do with a relationship, like a loving relationship. Doesn't necessarily have to be um, something romantic, but it usually with the Two of Cups it is. So you're pissed off, or you're you're. You have some type of rage built up against somebody that you were in a relationship with. This could have been a spiritual connection. <coughs> some type of romantic love. This could also be a proposal or a marriage. So you could be mad or enraged with someone for proposing to someone else. Somebody chose someone else with the Three of Pentacles here. Or you're enraged because you have to work with this person. Maybe this is somebody that you work with. I don't know, honey. Three of Pentacles talks about teamwork and collabing with somebody. So you could be um, on the flip side. Collab okay, honey. The camera stopped. Memory card said it was full. Baby, it's only one video on the card. Anyway, like I said, y'all could be collabing with somebody or getting ready to work with somebody. Shout out to the people that's actually getting up and finna get ready to go to work right now. Okay, period. Um, but when y'all see this, y'all probably already be at work, might be off work, honey, by the time y'all see this. But with the two of cups here, I'm getting that this was somebody that you worked with or somebody that you were thinking about collabing with, doing some type of collaboration or some type of business with, working on some type of craft together, some type of creative skill or quality you two were working on together, you were teaming up together or collabing together, um... You have some type of rage inside of you. This two of cups. This could be an interracial relationship as well. Spirit, what the messages do we have for the Aquarius? Why is Medusa here? The moon. Yeah, or this could be somebody pissed off, got some type of rage against you, Aquarius. And you don't know it. With the, with the moon coming out, this is about a, a mystery, honey. 
but you're trusting your intuition at this time and you need to you could be having dreams or, or visions about this person or about this situation look beyond the surface don't just look so you know shallow don't not so shallow but so uh surface level look beyond the the shallow part stop being so shallow go deep look how deep she is going up under that water she's so deep up under that water the, the motherfuckers howling at the moon baby they acting crazy I don't know, honey. This is about divine communication as well, Aquarius. Getting some type of messages. Seeking answers from unseen realms. So you could be getting messages in your dreams. Or your spirit guides and your ancestors are coming to in your dreams. And they're trying to warn you. With the Queen of Cups here. You could be dealing with the water sign. This could be someone, you know, that shows up as a nurturing person. A healing person. Someone that shows up as supportive. Or this could be, you know, just you. You and the energy that you're always in. Like I said, a wounded healer, Aquarius. You're always trying to heal somebody else. Heal yourself, honey. You over here drowning in sorrows, drowning in hurt, drowning in pain, drowning in regret. And you trying to heal somebody else. That's why you pissed off. Spirit, why is Yamaya here? Why is Yamaya here? Why is awakening here? Why is Yamaya here? Seven of Swords. Because y'all running away. You're running away from shit that hurt you. You're running away from motherfuckers that stole from you. Motherfuckers that betrayed you. Motherfuckers that was dishonest. Motherfuckers you can't trust. Motherfuckers you feel like stole your energy, your time, your peace, your space. You, you're walking away from that. You're being awakened from that energy. Or you're being awakened to that energy around you. You're noticing different things. You're in a different space. So you're noticing shit differently. You're noticing that these people around you ain't meant you no good. Like I said, you're noticing... With the Ace of Swords, honey, this could be some type of new idea, new conflict, a new uh, mental clarity as well, honey. You're being awakened to this energy. If you didn't notice it before, you're noticing it now. Spirit, what other messages do we have? Why is awakening here? Why is Yamaya here? One more for Yamaya. Why is Yamaya here? One more, Spirit. The Six of Swords, moving on still. <laughs> six of Swords, Seven of Swords, it's the same energy. Honey, this is a necessary transition. This is something that needed to take place in order for you to elevate, in order for you to expand, in order for you to move on, move up. You could be relocating or transitioning, or this is a transition from um, one type of situation to the next. This could be from, from a relationship to single, from friends to frenemies. I don't know, take it how it resonates. At the bottom of the deck, we got the four of wands. You're going to have a reason to celebrate soon, Aquarius. So you're already celebrating. This is about celebrating celebrating with friends, celebrating, you know, yourself at this time. <coughs> celebrating the fact that you finally let something go. You moved on from something. You moved on from bullshit that wasn't helping you grow. Absolutely. You're being reborn, like I said, Aquarius. You could be celebrating with family, friends. This is about a reunion or reuniting with someone. So you're moving on and moving towards your happiness, Aquarius. We got the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not, I'm gonna sit these over here to the side, yeah, because you focus on your money right now, Aquarius, and that's what really matters to you at this time. Your fulfillment, your solo pleasures, making sure you're good on your own. Period. And you're working hard. You're studying or you're studying, you know, this could be finances, investments. You could have some type of new job or some type of news about money is coming in. And this news you go get, you, you, you're you not even going to expect it, baby. This is about you putting in the time and you're going to get the luxury of this, uh, you know, time put in, time spent. Baby, you're going to gain luxury from it. You're going to gain some type of solo pleasure, honey, financial gains. Yeah, because you left from this heartbreak. You moved on is what you did not see. You didn't even know you were still heartbroken about this. Wounded healer. Screaming on the inside, baby. You didn't even know. But guess what? You decided to move on from any and everything that showed you that it was the same. It don't matter if it had a different face. If it was the same energy, you had to move on from it. Spirit, why is Nana Baluku here? Seasons. Yeah, because everyone's here for a season and not a reason. Someone... Not everyone is here. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's the energy y'all in because that's definitely not what I meant to say. But some people are here for seasons 
And some people are here for reasons. And either you're going to be here for one season, two seasons, three seasons. You're going to be the reason that I cut you off. Because Aquarius don't just cut a motherfucker off for no reason. <laughs> it's a season of cutoffs. Nana, Nana Baluku seasons. We have the three of cups, honey. This is about connecting with your friends, connecting um, with a circle of support, connecting with people around you, people that can support you at this time, a mentor, some type of guider, guider or spiritual guidance that you're gaining. With Nana Baluku, we did see that it, it mentioned that you need to... Um, connect more with others that could you know teach you once you've been awakened now you need to connect with the with the high priestess the higher the mother the four of pentacles you're still protecting your bag your money at this time or you're clutching on to that savings you're clutching on to something you're holding on to something because you feel like it's gonna you're gonna lose it again this is about, about being a uh, greedy or a greed for financial success and you know some type of long-term security or the desire for it. you're being too greedy or too needy or you look too needy so it's not coming in as fast as you think spirit why is nana Maluku here seasons or <clears throat> with this new change of season you could be needing to protect your money at this time protect your finances protect your your bag honey page of swords so somebody minding your business per usual Spirit, why is Nana Baluku here? Somebody minding your business, Aquarius. Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past. And the Eight of Pentacles. This could be somebody from your past coming back to offer you some type of gift or some type of reunion. This person could act innocent. <laughs> but what I'm getting is you're in some, t some type of childlike energy right now. You need to embrace it. Reach out to someone older. This could be your higher self. That you need to get in tune with. You need to get in tune with your inner child. Period. With the eight of pentacles here. You're definitely, definitely being patient. Or you need to be. You're mastering your craft at this time. You're learning how to, you know, become better at what you do. Like, you know how to do something. But practice makes perfect, you know. Practice prevents poor performance. Period. Preparation prevents poor performance. Period. So, yeah, you're mastering your craft. You're enjoying your employment. Some of y'all could have went back to work. Or some of y'all work from home. Some of y'all enjoy what you do. You're mastering. You're learning to get better at it. Some of you could be getting promotions or raises. <laughs> With the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck, you are on fire. This girl, this boy is on fire. This is a new project. You are inspired by something or this is the new urge or you're having an urge to create something at this time, Aquarius. This girl is on fire. Period. You're having the urge to create something. And you definitely need to reach out to a mentor at this time with the higher fit showing up. You definitely need to reach out to a mentor, a higher uh, guiding light. I don't know what I was just trying to say. Child, let's get some Kippa messages. Spirit, what the messages do we have for the Aquarius Collective about this energy? Yeah, community. You trying to do something to better yourself for the community or you're trying to do something to better your community or you're doing something in front of the community you're going to be recognized for. Yeah, you're going to receive great fortune for doing it. Whatever you're doing in the community, in your community, you're definitely being recognized for it. Like I said, motherfuckers is watching you per usual. So where were the messages do we have for the Aquarius? Something you're doing in the community, Aquarius. Bitch, you doing a good job. Bitch, you doing a good job. Yeah, thief. Somebody's stealing. So somebody in your community, your community of friends, your community of co-workers, somebody could be stealing. Somebody's a thief here. And they're trying to act like they so mature. Or they the mature man. Whole time they some fucking energy vampires. So yeah, Aquarius, be careful. Be mindful. You know who this is. This thief card fell right on top of Seven of Swords. And what is the Seven of Swords about? Theft. So yeah, you know who this is. Could be dealing with an uh, air sign or a water sign. Earth sign, fire sign. Could be any sign, honey. But yeah, you the gift. You're going to be receiving some type of gift. Like I said, all this energy keep coming back out. Gift, great fortune, sudden wealth, honey. Unexpected income. All type of shit is coming out, Aquarius. Because you're moving on from this situation. You know that you have to. This could be somebody that is in your household or lives in your household. Or has been in your household. And you need to clean the energy in your house, honey. You need to clear house. Period. 
He needs to get this energy from around you. He needs to get on a healthy energy diet, healthy spiritual diet, a people diet, honey. Yeah, because your spirit guys hold you a high honor. I just saw 1111. They hold you a high honor. They have a higher respect for you or you hold yourself in a high honor, a high regard, honey. You protecting yourself on the battlefield, period. And we got a house at the bottom of the deck again, protecting your house, needing to protect your house at this time. Spirit, let's get one more for the Aquarius. One more for the Aquarius. Main female. You the main female, main male. This is main character energy, period. Or it's the main female, main male in your in your energy that you need to get rid of. Message. Yeah. You the main male or main female, honey. So all that other shit, that should be irrelevant, Aquarius. Message. Some of y'all could be getting a message or some type of messages. You could be arguing through messages or sending messages to others. It's time to meditate and contemplate at this time, Aquarius. New moon in Pisces. We are in Pisces season. Yeah, so period. It's time to meditate and contemplate, Aquarius. It's time to meditate on the energy that you're feeling. Contemplate on what you need to release, what needs to, you know, be removed from around you. It's time to heal. A time for healing at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. A time for healing. Your dreams need a practical plan. It's time to come up with some type of practical plan, honey, Aquarius. Something that's more practical. Something that, you know, makes more sense. Something that you put a, a lot more thought in. And your hard work is paying off or is going to. By coming up with this practical plan for your dreams. Full moon and Taurus. So you could be dealing with the Pisces or Taurus. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius? Let's get one more. Period. And it, it still came on out. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So you could be dealing with Capricorn Aquarius. But your hard work is paying off at this time, honey. At the bottom of the deck, a time to give rather than take. New moon and Virgo. Yeah, a time to give rather than take. A time to give to these thieves. Gift rather than take. So you could be receiving something or, you know, you could be in a giving mood or a giving space, giving energy. I don't know, Aquarius. Take it how it resonates. It is seven o'clock on the deck. Hold on. It's seven o'clock on the dot, y'all. I gotta be to work at eight. So I'm about to start getting ready after this. But anyway, let's tap back on in. See so what the messages do we have for the Aquarius? What are the messages do we have for the Aquarius collectors? Messages we have for the Aquarius. Here are the messages we have for the Aquarius. Regarding this energy. Okay, we're gonna take both of these. Library, take control of your own narrative. The number 22. Period. 22 on the 22nd. Facts. Aquarius, learn to take control of your own narrative. Honey, you are the story writer. You are the director. You are the casted uh, members. Baby, learn how to take control of your own story. Control the narrative, Aquarius. And escape is number 32. Come home to yourself, Aquarius. Come home to yourself, baby. Tune into your inner self. Tune into yourself. Fuck all that other shit was going on around you. Nostalgia. 33. Focus on the here and now, Aquarius. Don't focus on the future. Don't focus on the past. Focus on what's going on right now. What's happening in your life, in your face, in your space right now, Aquarius. Don't worry about all that other shit. Because why? It don't matter. It don't matter. Period. So, yeah, I'm about to sign out, sign out, get ready for work. I love you guys so much. I think we're going to start doing these every morning before I go to work just to get the energy flowing, get me in a good headspace before I clock in. So, yes, honey, thank you so much for sharing this energy with me on the 22nd, on the 22nd, on the second one, the 22nd day of the 22nd year. <laughs> Period, Aquarius. On the 2022nd year. Anyway. I love you guys so much, so much. Thank you for sharing this energy with me. Please have a wonderful day. Please don't let nobody fuck up your your space, your peace. Whatever you see trying to come in and take your take your energy, take your peace, take your happiness, take your joy, steal from you. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. 
I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell, baby, so y'all know, because I be trying to drop these for y'all. And now my computer, my hard drive, doing what I needed to do so I can be back in the game. I'm in the game, it's in the game. And I had a little, had a little minor setback for a major comeback, baby. Now I got a, now I got two hard drives, okay? Because I didn't even mention that my hard drive that I replaced, it still works. Yeah. Anyway, Aquarius, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.